till Sunday. Are you sure you can look after yourselves for an entire weekend? Of course we can, dear. No problem. Don't worry, Mum. You just go off and have fun. I'm not going away to have fun, Dennis. It's a yoga retreat. It'll be very hard work. Remember, Gran will be coming over tomorrow to help with B. Yes, yes, Mum. We'll be fine, won't we, Dad? Of course we will. We're a team, <laughs> me and Dennis. Now, you just get going. Enjoy yourself, dear. We'll take care of everything. Project? Uh, sort of. It's a pi thing. Ah, mathematics. Pi r squared. Mm, could be squared, Dad. <laughs> or it could be round. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for letting me do this here, Den. My mum's banned me from our kitchen. Not surprising, seeing as your last pie making effort blew out the windows. I just used a bit too much yeast, that's all. I'm gone. Here's the instructions. Uh, Insta Pie. The pie in a box for delicious pies in seconds. Just add water. Just add water? Boring. I'm going to find some stuff to spice it up a bit. Come on, Nasha. <laughs> Dairy style whipped cream. Lemon flavoured pie making product. Meringue type pie. Topping stuff and pork sausage flavour enhancer. Pork sausage flavour enhancer? Isn't this meant to be a lemon meringue pie? It's not just for us, right? It's for Nasha too. <laughs> Never heard of lemon meringue and sausage pie before. There's always a first time. <gasps> Dennis, what did you just add? Bulk foodstuff super booster. Well, it's super boosting the pie right out of the basin. Quick, to the bathroom! This stuff's magic. All we need now is water. Oh! Ooh. Krishna Vashti Rubber Spine Pose is a level one exercise designed to bring about total relaxation. So clear your mind and just relax. <laughs> relax? Oh, easy for you to say. The first paper clip was designed to fasten labels to garments and textiles. The double bend single manifold paperclip was a great step. Dennis! Invented by Hiram P. Bismarck in 1975. Dennis! And now, ladies, we move on to the inverted lotus blossom. Look deeply into your inner self. Think beautiful thoughts and let yourself go. <laughs> Everything running smoothly, I see. No problem, Gran. If this isn't a problem, Dennis, I'd like to know what is. Uh, where's B? B? B! B! Curly, pie face, help me clean her up. Blue. That's all we need. That's one B. That's an 
enough of that nasty stuff. I'll find you some nice chocolate. <laughs> chuck, 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 chuck. You're in big trouble, Dennis. Hey, what am I saying? We're in big trouble. No problem, Dad. I've already got an idea about cleaning up this mess. No, it was one of your ideas that made this mess in the first place. We'll clean it up my way. You're lucky your mum's away for another day. Just get this. Oh, it's good for fathers and sons to bond. I don't want to overdo it, though. And anyway, they might need me. Dennis, guess what? I'm coming home. Right now. Well, this yoga thing isn't as relaxing as I thought. And anyway, once you've done one inverted lotus blossom, you've done them all. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so I'll be back in a couple of hours, just in time for you to make me dinner. Mum's coming back. Well, of course she is. She lives here. No, I mean now. She's catching the next train and she wants us to make her dinner. Well, what are you waiting for? You will not get cleaning. I'll head her off. Oh, uh, you, you push it. Now, you just... Oh, it, this isn't working, Dennis. I have an idea, Dad. on anyone before. Oh, they call it the inverted lotus blossom. It's supposed to be very relaxing. It doesn't look it. But don't worry, I know just the thing. We'll find you a chiropractor. A whatopractor? Someone will give you a nice soothing massage. <laughs> It's working, Dad! But will we get it finished before Mum gets back? I told her we were going to look after the house, not totally trash it! This isn't the way home! Where are you taking me, Gran? The hospital! Like I said, you need a chiropractor! No! I just need to be home with my family! We can't let Dennis and his dad see you like this! Think of the shock to their systems! Hurry, Dennis! We're running out of time! There's nothing else for it, Nasha! You've got to help me! <coughs> you do the stairs while I do upstairs! <coughs> See? I knew you'd like pork sausage flavour enhancer! office is closed until Monday. Just take me home, Gran. Uh, are you sure? Oh, we could try somewhere else. Take me home! OK, but I've got a feeling you're not going to like it. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, it's so good to be home. <laughs> Yoga classes are fine, but there's nothing like Look coming back to your own lovely, peaceful home. That was close, Dennis. Too close, Gran. But at least everything's under control now. Mum, there's stuff everywhere. 
What's going on here? <laughs> We're having a spring clean. Oh, good. Then perhaps you can help me find my teapot. I think I left it here last time. All right, Gran. Dennis, you can fill this box with stuff for the charity shop. But it's Saturday. And after that, tidy your room. You two, go on. Oh. There's stuff here I haven't looked at for ages. Magnifying glass, sunglasses, notebook, old brown coat. <laughs> How to crack crimes and solve mysteries. <laughs> the mystery is why I bought the book in the first place. How to solve mysteries. Cool. There. Oh, now for a sit down and a nice cup of tea. Oh, yes. Did you find my teapot? Well, you can't miss it. It's bright red. Oh, I think I might have put it in the charity box. Out the back. What are you up to? Nothing for you to worry about, sweet cheeks. Oh, <laughs> oh where's my teapot? It's a mystery. A mystery, eh? It sounds like a job for Dennis P.I. He what? A private investigator. Here to solve the mystery of the missing teapot. <gasps> this afternoon, I'm supposed to be having tea with a gentleman I haven't seen for 36 years. Oh, and I really need this particular teapot. Well, I'd say there's a good chance your teapot has been swiped, snaffled, stolen! <coughs> Do you have anything that might help us pick up the scent? What about this old tea bag? Aha! Perfect! Cop a whiff of that natural pal and she, if you can't, sniff out the culprit. Treehouse! <laughs> Who keeps doing that? Right, that's warmed us up. Ready for the Colonel's tea party. <laughs> nice work, Nasher. Looks like the trail might end right here. <laughs> So that's what Nasha was after. Hey, that's my pie. But you can see everything from up here. Pie face, have you seen anyone with a red teapot? What was it like again? You know, like... And red. Oh, yeah. I saw someone with one of those. And what did this person look like? Well, it was a boy with black hair, uh, shorts, and a big smile. That can't be right. You're describing me. Uh, OK. Uh, he had tied hair uh, and glasses. Oh, and a bow tie. <laughs> I think we found our thief. Tom, ti tom, ti tom, tom. Tra la! <laughs> Hand over the teapot, Walter. I have no idea what you're talking about. Come on, I know you've got it. Dennis, hang on. You're going about this all the wrong way. Thank goodness one of you is making sense. <laughs> <gasps> OK, teapot rustler, where's the loot? If you don't tell us, the flower gets it. Right, Nipper? Yes, yes. Teapot? Loot? Oh, I don't understand. Don't play the fool with me. A reliable witness claims to have seen you with my best red teapot. Uh, Gran? Ah, here, boy. <coughs> if it's a teapot you're looking for, Mrs Creature has a vast collection. <laughs> <sighs> This is the life, nice and quiet, a pot of tea and no... Dennis! What are you doing in school on a Saturday? I might ask you the same question. Teaching doesn't recognise weekends. Is that right? So what can you teach me about this teapot? That? Oh, it 
It's nothing. Just a teapot. Hmm. Could be a respray job. Whoopsie. No. OK, OK. It's my second best teapot. That's all. Second best? You have more than one? Sure. I've got lots of teapots. Oh. We're not just looking for any teapot. We're looking for... <coughs> one like this. <coughs> this is not my teapot. No, but that's my steak. Why would anyone keep a steak in a teapot? Oh, it was frozen. I put it in there to thaw out. But if you've lost a teapot, try the Colonel. He's having a big tea party. Thanks, Dollface. But you're not out of the frame until we've found our teapot. So don't even think about doing a runner and leaving town. I mean, thanks, Mrs. Creature. <laughs> Oh, sorry, you can't come in here. Go uh, to Colonel's orders. No, Dennis. Oh, come on. Since when did you take orders from the Colonel? Oh, well, ever since he promised me a slap up tea. Dainty sandwiches cut up all nice, cream slice, lemon drizzle cake, and sticky buns with sprinkles. Oh, no, you don't. But I'm an investigator. We're on the same side. Solving mysteries, busting crooks, enforcing the law. No, Dennis. That's the law. And, and, and definitely no dogs. <laughs> Good afternoon, Sergeant. Oh, you do look well today. Oh, why? Uh, thank you. Uh, I might say the same about you. <laughs> oh, splendid hat, by the way. Oh. <laughs> I'll be sure to save a bun or three for you, Sergeant. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, <laughs> one! dog of yours sniffed out with some sausages. But no teapot. That's right. No teapot. Then we're all out of clues. Nothing else to do but go back and re-examine the crime scene. So, what about your tea date? Oh, I guess I'll just have to keep him waiting for another 36 years. No way. We have to get to the bottom of this. Wait. Look! The teapot! The teapot! No! Hey, what are you doing? Oh, Gran! I'm really sorry! Oh, it's all right, Dennis. You see, it wasn't the teapot I was after. It was what was inside the teapot. <laughs> Choppers! <laughs> oh, just in time! Here comes my date! Hello, sweet cheeks. Oh, I can recognise that smile a mile away. Butch over a beagle! Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Dennis! Oh, you're a brilliant investigator! Sure has! Sweet cheeks! What happened to my lawn? Well, it all started with a missing teapot. Save it for when you've tidied your room, Dennis. Like I asked you to do this morning. Oh, parents! That's one mystery I'll never solve. Didn't see you. Quite all right, Dennis. Nothing can spoil my mood today. I've got some good news. Guess what? I've been promoted.
promoted. I'm the new Deputy Assistant Supervisor of Sticky Tape. That's brilliant, dear. Yes, once I've done the Sticky Tape training course, it'll all be confirmed. I'm sure you'll do well. Oh, I hope so. There's one other thing, though. The new job's in a different part of the company, in Drano Town. What? Drano Town's a dump! Well, yeah, it's certainly too far to commute. We'll have to move. Move? We can't move! We like it here, don't we, Nasha? <laughs> and in Drano Town, we'll be able to afford a better house. But there's nothing wrong with this house. It's as solid as a rock. That'd be nice. Though we'd have to sell this one first. And, and another thing. What about Curly and Pieface? All me friends are here in Beano Town. Oh, don't be silly, Dennis. You can always make new friends. Anyway, dear, well done. Drano Town, here we come. Huh. We'll see about that. Enjoy your course. <gasps> oh, good news, Colonel. Dennis is moving. So I see. Well, it'll certainly make the job of the neighbourhood watch a lot easier. <laughs> I'll say. According to my calculations, we spend 89.6% of our time chasing Dennis. Indeed. But let's not count our chickens. Dennis is a Beano Town boy through and through. I don't think he's going to go quietly. <laughs> I'm just off to the shops, Dennis. OK, Mom. And remember, the estate agent will be bringing people to look at the house later. So just stay out of the way, OK? Curly, alert Pie Face and get on over here. It's time for Operation Stay Put. Yeah, here we are. It's a nice, quiet neighbourhood, as you can see. Oh, I hope so. When I meditate, I must have the right vibrations. Ah, oh, yes. Perfect. This garden is speaking to me. It will be my peaceful sanctuary. Yes. Okay, boys! One, two, three, four! Uh, but you did say you wanted uh, uh, vibrations. <laughs> nice work, boys. She won't be moving in any time soon. Uh, garden's not bad. A bit tame for my liking. OK, hold your noses, everyone. Here goes one of me own patented extreme stinker stink bomb. <laughs> <laughs> you see, I like to get out in the fresh air and get back to nature. Oh, what's that? Ugh. Oh. <laughs> I'm sure it's, it's completely natural. <laughs> <laughs> So, Dennis is trying to put people off buying his house, is he? Time to mobilise the Neighbourhood Watch Welcome Committee. Now, as quickly as you can, deploy the sticky tape to create the perfect parcel. perfect. <laughs> <gasps> you know, I think I'm starting to get the hang of it. <laughs> oh, the kennel garden. Oh, she's scary. Yeah, but she's got one weakness. Her pet chihuahuas. <laughs> Yeah, this is it, Mrs. Uh, Barkington Wagstaff. I think you'll find it's uh, deceptively spacious. Well, it looks nice from the outside, but is there enough room for my little babies? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Nasha. Now! <laughs> <laughs> Come back! Nice 
nice work, Nasha. I've got you, little fellows. Oh, no. Not so fast, young chap. It's Walter and the Colonel. They're going to ruin everything. <laughs> Thank you so much. Don't mention it, madam. It's what the neighbourhood watch is for, isn't it, Colonel? Of course. We always like to look out for our little doggy friends. Even monsters like that one? Oh, don't worry about him, madam. He'll be gone when they move. Hmm, I see. Well, with dog-loving neighbours like you, this might be just the house for us. <laughs> Shall we have a look inside? Don't worry, Jen. We'll come and visit you in Drano Town. That's not even funny, Pie Face. No, it's not. And anyway, I'm not beaten yet. I'll think of something. I'm just calling your father. Oh, hello, dear. How's the course going? Oh, uh, quite well, I think. Marvellous. So what time will you be back? About four o'clock. I am looking forward to coming home. Me too, dear. See you later. Oh. Dad will be back at four. He's looking forward to coming home. We've got to do something to convince Dad to stay here, Nasha. But what? <laughs> Hang on. Mum says he's looking forward to coming home. Maybe if he got a really big welcome back, he wouldn't want to leave. <laughs> yeah, we could sing a song and, and put a banner up and... No, wait. I've got an even better idea. The kennel warden likes the house, Nasha. She's coming to look at it again at four o'clock. But I'm going to make sure she doesn't buy it. I've got a foolproof plan. <laughs> Just as I thought, Walter's fallen for it. Red alert, Colonel. The kennel warden's looking at Dennis's house again. At four o'clock. Excellent news, Walter. Yes, but the trouble is, Dennis is planning to put her off. Don't worry, Walter. He's not the only one with a plan. We'll make sure she stays and Dennis goes. Four o'clock. That'll be her. Right then. Neighbourhood Watch Welcome Committee, quick march! Just as I thought, Nasha, Walter and the Colonel are pulling out all the stops. Welcome, Committee, roll out, red carpet! What a lovely cake! A red carpet, too! Oh! <laughs> Hi, Dad! Welcome home! Hello, son. How have you been? You know what, Dennis? I was already having second thoughts about that job. And now, to come home to a welcome like this... Well, how could we possibly live anywhere else? Result! Well, sticky tape's not all it's cracked up to be. And let's face it, I'm a rubber band man at heart. You don't mind not moving, do you? Of course not. If you're happy to stay here, so am I. No place like home, eh, Dad? Exactly, son. There's no place like home.
Joke shop. Yes, stay away from it. Do something sensible for a change. All right. I'll take Nasha for a nice walk. <laughs> to the joke shop. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Ha Ha. Dennis, good to see you again. You too. So, what's new? Ah, vampire chattery teeth. <laughs> With a difference. <laughs> Added bad breath. <laughs> cool. <laughs> oh, hello, Mother. Oh, yes, Mother. No, Mother. Oh, of course, Mother. What's wrong? My mother, she's flying into Beano Town this morning, which means she's going to find out I run a joke shop. So, what's the problem? When she gave me money to set up a business, she thought I was a vet. If she finds out the truth, I'll have to close down. <gasps> close the shop? No! I'm afraid so. Unless... <gasps> we turn this shop into a vet for the day! You mean... Play a trick on my mother? <laughs> well, well, I mean, that would be... Fun? <laughs> Curly, get pie face and get down to Mr Ha-Ha's. We've got an emergency. <laughs> oh! Be mother, quick, hide! Mother, hello, Hardy. Uh, welcome to my practice. Uh, how, how was your journey? The flight was bumpy. The taxi was smelly. This is it. Yes. You don't seem very busy. Uh, I'm expecting my assistant to bring in a patient any second. That's us! Come on, Nasha! Ah, there you are. And who is this little fellow? Uh, uh, Nasha. And what seems to be the problem? Uh, uh, pointy arrowitis. Ah, yes. Pop him on the table. Surely there's no hope. Shouldn't you just put him out of his misery? <laughs> Let's see. Uh, mallet, a clamp. Oh. Hang on, Mr. Ha Ha. I think we need an anaesthetic. Let us begin. Uh, Mother, you'd better sit down. Uh, tweezers. Check. Lights. Check. Dramatic music. Check. Then I'm going in. That's one. Oh, yeah. And then there. Oh, oh. Oh. Last one. It's going to be tricky. <gasps> Don't lose it now, Doctor. Now to wrap up. There. Right as rain. the treatment, won't he? D oh, yes. Yes, say in a, a week or two. Well done, Hardy. You've saved him. <sighs> Psst. We've got a problem, Den. Look outside. <laughs> 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 
Oops. Uh, uh, we're closed. Closed? Oh, do your job, Hardy. Save these poor animals now. Oh, yes, Mother. Um... Telescope. Telesco telescope? Hmm. Uh, he's cross-eyed. Hey! Uh, he's suffering from uh, the concentric pupils. We've got just the thing. I think he might have, uh, um... Uh, low... Low... volume? Low volume... Mm, maximosis! Exactly! Uh, he's lost his voice. Try this, Mr. Ha Ha! Molly want a cracker! want Of course, a uh, thermometer. Classic case of nippy rodent syndrome, wouldn't you say, Mr. Ha Ha? Oh, definitely. Yes, a, a very bad chill. No problem. This will warm him up. I'm very proud of you, Hardy. Now, give me a tour of Beano Town so I can show off my clever son. Oh, yes, Mother. Dennis, help! Dr. Ha Ha, what about our vet school? Vets in training, uh, that's us. Oh, yes, eager to learn. More school? <gasps> Hardy, you've got little apprentices. You're so dedicated. Go. Teach. <clears throat> Oops. And who is this? I'm the local vet, and I've been getting a lot of dissatisfied customers. <gasps> ah. May I suggest, Mr. Ha Ha, that you stick to what you know. Go back to running a joke shop. I can't believe my ears. A joke shop? this really be true, Hardy? You run a joke shop? But it's the best shop in town, Mrs. Ha Ha. My favourite. Please don't be angry. Fooling you was my idea. Angry? I'm shocked. Hardy Ha Ha, you always said you wanted to be a vet. Mother, that was when I was five. But can you honestly say that you're happy? Larking about in a joke shop? We're all happy in the shop, Mrs. Ha Ha, aren't we? Oh, oh yes. yes! I suppose if you're happy, that's all that really matters. <laughs> well, don't just stand there gawping. Show me everything! <laughs> Results! Oh, well, if you'd like to come this way, Mother, here we have a drawer full of fake doggy doo-doos. <laughs> That's always a winner. Uh, of course, obligatory wigs, hats, itchy powder, whoopee cushions. <laughs> 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 Popularity rock in a bag. Oh, it's a winner. <laughs> oh, dear. God, it's hilarious. Dennis, I thought I told you to stay away from this joke shop. But, Mum... Oh, please don't be too hard on him. Boys will be boys and they all like a joke. And some of these things are quite amusing. <laughs> Very amusing, in fact. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yes, isn't it 
and smashing. <laughs> How about to swim for us then? Sorry, members of Walter's Swimming Club only. How do we join? Well, rule one is you have to swear endless loyalty to me. And rule two is... Oh, hang on. It's the same as rule one. <laughs> <laughs> Dream on. Not going to happen, Walter. You'll just have to put up with the heat then, won't you? <laughs> Oi, are you boys? You all know there's a water shortage, so no, no, no wasting water, OK? Us wasting water? What about Walter and his pool? D never mind, Walter. His pool's already filled. I'm telling you lot, and, uh, and, and remember, I'll be keeping an eye on you. So now we can't even squirt each other with hose pipes. <sighs> My tongue's sweating. How are we going to cool off? There's only one thing for it, lads. We'll build our own pool. What about the water shortage? Don't worry, I'll think of something. First, we need to dig a big hole. Come on, Nasha, do your stuff. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> too hard. We need a spade. Oh, what about this? Needs a bit more power behind it. Hey, look! The old pogo stick. That'll do it. Here we go, lads! Oh, ah, oh, ah. Yes. Great, Nasha! Uh, uh, the heavier we are, the better! Room for one more! And me! That's right, lads! Here we go! Well, we made a hole, all right! And we've discovered a secret cave under my garden! Can you believe it? Yeah! There could be anything down here. Including water for our pool. Come on, lads, let's explore. I don't know, Den. It's an awfully big hole. So what do you think this is, Den? I reckon this is the old Beano Town drains, which means there's got to be water around here somewhere. Hang on, what's that? Sounds promising. According to my calculations, that'll lead up next to the Colonel's garden. Let's check it out. Action stations! Dive! Dive! Bingo! It's the Colonel's place, all right. And he's sitting in a big paddling pool full of water. Uh, uh, is there uh, enough to fill a pool? It'd be a start. What about the Colonel? We'll just have to get rid of... As I was saying, oh, we'll just have to get rid of him. Oh. <laughs> Stuff my fishy friend. Yes. Galloping gators, a piranha, abandon ship, retreat, retreat. Ha ha! We've got the colonel on the run. Now all we've got to do is siphon off his water. <laughs> Back to the drawing board. <laughs> oh well, at least it's cool down here. Not the same as a nice pool, though, is it? Don't worry, Pie Face. We're going to get our pool and the water to put in it. 
Hang on, this looks hopeful. I'll take a look. Plenty of water. It's the overflow to Beano Town Lake. Wow! What happened, Den? I don't think emptying Beano Town Lake is such a good idea. See what else we can find. Ah, that sounds more like it. It's Slipper! Cooling off with a hose pipe and a garden sprinkler. What a cheek. After all that Guffy gave us about not wasting water. Exactly. Well, I don't see why we can't borrow his hose pipe. We could run it back to my place. But what about the van? It's a police hose pipe, Pie Face. How can it be illegal? Here goes. <laughs> Dennis left that door open to put me uh, to put me off the scent. Well, he, he won't fool me this time. Certainly not. It's not what it looks like. Uh, uh, 